Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, you want to check out Was Jesus, please be unto him, really crucified by Dr. Zaki Knight? Guys, I think I've checked out one video when he talked about this and I didn't really agree with what he said because I think there are a lot of proofs out there that prove that Jesus was actually crucified. Well guys, let's check this out. How can I prove that Jesus was not crucified? Then how can I prove that Jesus wasn't crucified? Peace be upon him. The Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 157, they killed him not, neither did they crucify him, it was only made to appear so. So Quran is clear, Wama katalu, wama salabu. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. If I have to prove to are you a Christian, brother? I am. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. When people come to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and tell him that, Oh, Master, show us some signs. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies, E evil and adulterous generation, seek it thee after a sign. No sign shall be shown to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Brother, do you know the story of Jonah? Jonah, Jonah. I do. Do you know? Now, Almighty God tells Jonah that go to Nineveh. Jonah being a prophet of God, he says the people of Nineveh, they will not understand, they will not listen to me. He goes to Joppa. It uses going to Nineveh. So while he's going in the ship, in a boat to Joppa, there's a storm that comes into the sea. This is mentioned in the book of Jonah. Book of Jonah, less than two pages. At that time, there was a superstition that the storm in the sea is due to some person not obeying the commandment of the master. So Jonah being a prophet of God, he volunteers. I'm the one who is disobeying my master. And at that time, it was a superstition that if you throw the person in the water, the water will become calm. So Jonah volunteers. I am disobeying my master, throw me overboard. I am asking you the question, when Jonah was thrown overboard, was he dead or alive? Jonah, when he was thrown overboard into the sea, when the storm comes, was Jonah dead or alive? He was, he was alive. 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 Alive, very good. When a person is thrown in the sea, where there is a storm, a person ought to die. Was Jonah dead or alive when he was thrown in the sea? He was alive. Alive. If he dies, no miracle. At storm, a normal person dies. He's alive, it's a miracle. A fish comes and gobbles him up. A fish comes and swallows him up. When the fish swallows him up, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. Alive. Three days and three nights, the fish takes him around the sea. In the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, Jonah prays to Almighty God. While he was in the belly of the fish, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. Alive. Alive, alive, alive. The fish vomits him out. Jonah comes onto the show. Was he dead or alive? Alive. 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 Alive, 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 alive. Miracle of a miracle of a miracle of a miracle. I'm asking you the question. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, according to the Bible, when he was taken down from the cross, he was put in the grave, in the sepulchre. In the sepulchre, was Jesus dead or alive? He was dead. 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 If he's dead, does he fulfill the sign or not? But he was raised to back. In the sepulchre, in the grave, was he dead or alive? Dead. Dead or alive? Dead. If he was dead, is he fulfilling the prophecy? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, No sign shall be given to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. If Jonah... Guys. <sighs> but, like, I need, I need to say something, like, to be honest, I need to say something. You know, said, I'm, I'm, I, I promise I'm going to be defensive. I'm going to say things the way it is. You know, said, Jonah was, as Jonah was in the heart, in the mouth of the fish for three days and three nights so shall I be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights and if you google the meaning of heart of the earth heart of the earth means death so Jesus said he's going to die for three days and three nights like he said it so it's like a prophecy coming to pass when he died for three days and three nights and still and resurrected bro there's something someone said like a Muslim actually told him he was like maybe that is correct. The verse in the Quran is correct. And 
maybe people are not really explaining it the way it is. Because if you say it, Jesus actually died and came back to life. He saw, and he, has, he explained it like this. He was like, the meaning of death means you're still living your body and not eternal. That's the meaning of death. So as far as Jesus so left his body and returned, that means he was alive. So the Quran says the truth when he says Jesus did not die, he was alive because he so left and returned. And this is the explanation he gave. And it kind of makes sense if you take it literally. But like Jesus clearly said he's going to be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. So he had to end in death. So like Jonah was in the belly of the fish, but Jesus said he's going to be in the heart of the earth. So like I feel it's self explanatory I feel it's self-explanatory because it clearly says what is going to happen. So I feel good bad. Jonah was alive for Jesus Christ to fulfill the prophecy, peace be upon him, he should be dead or alive? Dead or alive he should be. He should be alive. He should be alive and he was alive. Why do you say he was dead? Are you trying to say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied? If you say he was dead, that means you are saying Jesus was a liar, Nausbillah. That means Jesus was alive. What has been told to you by the church is wrong. Do you believe in the church or do you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? The Bible says Jesus was dead. Where does it say? Give me the reference. I'm not, a, not that much known by But Bible. do you know the sign of Jonah, yes or no? Yeah. Was Jonah dead or alive in the belly of the fish? He was alive. So Jesus Christ has to be dead or alive in the earth? But why it is not mentioned in the Bible that he was alive in the... It is mentioned. Where does it say he was dead? It was assumed. The Roman soldiers thought he was dead. They poked a spear. They poked a spear, but he was alive. So if you see my video cassette, Was Christ Crucified? There are umpteen numbers of proofs. I gave you one proof. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that, you know, I gave life to the dead, therefore I am a man of God. He put all his eggs in one basket. As Jonah was dead or alive, you are saying Jonah was alive, peace be upon him. So Jesus also, peace be upon him, has to be alive. Why do you say he's dead? Just because the priest told you. So do you believe more in the priest or do you believe in the Bible? I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or the priest? I do believe in Jesus. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, As Jonah was in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. So Jonah was dead or alive? Jonah was alive. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be dead or alive? So the Bible still says he was dead and he raised back to life. Where does the Bible say? I have to find it. But what See. I'm telling you, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. You know the sign of Jonah, no? I do. That time you were dead or alive? Alive. So when you know the sign of Jonah and you don't know where it is said he's dead, you have to follow what is in red letter. There are many things which are mentioned by Paul, which is not part of the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you know there is something like a red letter Bible, red letter Bible means whatever Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said is in red ink. If you quote me something in black ink, I will not believe. Why? That is not the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Do you give more preference to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or St. Paul? Jesus Christ. What I'm quoting to you is in red. Gospel of Matthew, note it down. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. So don't get me a quotation of backing. To prove this wrong, you have to get me a quotation in red ink. That's what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said. I request you to go home, read the Bible, and when you're convinced, inshallah, come to the truth. Thank you. Guys, I like the way the dialogue went. Like, I like when I'm listening to peaceful dialogue. So, Jesus Christ said, I will be in the heart of the earth. And the heart of the earth means death. Like, Jesus said, I will die for three days and I'm raising it. Like, he said, the way Jonah was, because Jonah went into the flesh for three days and three nights, then came out alive. Jesus went to the heart of the earth. That like Jesus said clearly that he's going to die for three days and three nights. I think he needed additionally like to like search the middle of the heart of the earth. But if you understand when if I thought if that night put it this way, that if that night said 
Jonah was in the trash for two years and two nights and came out alive. And he was alive in the stomach. And Jesus said he's going to die for two years and two nights and come back alive. So that is the clear that is the meaning of heart of the earth. I don't know if you understand me or if you have been to the cloud but and I like clearly said that if you I I like following the writings of red letters, that is word of God, that is word of Jesus. And if we say we are following the writings of the red letters in the Bible, Jesus clearly said in Revelation 1 verse 8, and you guys make me start like you guys are making me start like researching and it's a good thing but me five months ago I'm not this into religion like but Jesus said in Revelation 1 verse 8 I'm the first and the last I'm the first and the last and the almighty so if I'm going through that logic we will clearly say that Jesus said he was God if I'm following the red letters in the Bible because that verse actually the red that verse is a red letter so I don't think we'll go with that logic because you guys clearly don't believe Jesus is God. But if one of the was like in like said. So guys, tell me what you think about this video. Then you like, share, stuff on my channel. I'm just trying to be honest here. And give leave your phone like say you share your the way you say it. Share it in the comment section. I'm I'm willing to have a nice conversation with you in the comment section. Guys, I'll see you next time first.